Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. Today, I like to share a very important message for those who really like to study and learn Wing Chun. This is a serious problem today that uh, I'm addressing. See, Wing Chun today has become a label, an empty label, where everybody can stick into or onto the bottle of their whatever they sell, their wine or their water or their snake oil. So it is that bad the term Wing Chun has become today. This is a very unfortunate thing. It is a tragic that really the Chinese do not take care of their culture. It is by evidence today. Wing Chun cannot get up to the level of like judo, where it is well defined. It has quality and it has the process of studying where one will uh, learn the skill. So Wing Chun today can never be equivalent with judo. Wing Chun is like here, a label, empty label, where everybody can stick into their oil or their wine or water, which they sell as they like. It means nothing, Wing Chun. And uh, Judo is up here. Karate is up here. Okay. That's how bad it is. Now, I share this with you today is because Yesterday, actually the day before yesterday, I saw a video. A video from China where somebody is selling this Wing Chun uh, Qigong type of stuff, making claim that the person who practiced that have lived up to 90 something year old. If you practice it, you will have a long life. And I look at that. It is selling nonsense, okay? So it is at the time that it doesn't matter what it is, everybody just because of whatever their reason, their money, their fame or whatever, they will do anything. For their own benefit. Do they care about Wing Chun? They don't obviously. So do they care about, say, uh, usually people say Motak, martial virtue. Sorry, sir. You don't even have the, the business ethic. Like in the West, when you sell a product, you put the specification there or ingredient there and you are required by law to back up what you print there. It is, it is this bad, okay? So who is the one who gets screwed? Well, obviously the people, the consumer. So let's look at it as a consumer. Don't even look at it as a, a, a well, Chinese have high moral, or this, all this thing. Because it doesn't even <coughs> get to the level of uh, a common business practice, a common proper business practice. You sell something, you sell your product, you put down your specifications and ingredient and you, you are responsible for that. That's by law, okay? Now I'm gonna share with you, why is this thing so screw up? Okay, this, 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 uh, this so-called, this kind of qi gong, nei gong, whatever, 
you can live up to 100 years old. Now, this is a Chinese Kung Fu sickness. The sickness start at like uh, everybody using their own thinking, their own experience as the truth of the universe. In fact, three days ago, I met a Tai Chi practitioner. He said that he practiced Tai Chi for 50 something years. And so he was telling me that his breathing can go as deep down to his sore, the sore of his leg, the heel. And then I asked him, or I'm listening, I'm asking, so how do you do that? So he said, this is the truth of the Chinese uh, Kung Fu. See, in the book of Zhuang Zhi, he said that the sage breathe with their heel. And okay, I asked again, so how do you do that? He said, oh, you just practice it. You practice it and then uh, you will uh, loose up yourself and then uh, suddenly you will breathe with every part of your body. That's how he get it, okay? Then he said, you know what? Every teacher, they have their way of teaching that. You can go to different Tai Chi people, uh, a teacher. Uh, they will have their different way and they will show you how to breathe with their heel. At that point, I said, thank you, sir. I walk out. Why? Obviously, he's bullshit on thing, which is he doesn't know what the heck is going on. That is a process if you want to get there. Yes, that is a process. So what is the process? The process is your body. It's like in meditation, your body has to be, the, uh, the, the axis has to be proper. Like this is a cross, you know, this is my shoulder, it is cross, and this is a straight down. And uh, let me sh share with you if I still have here. Okay, here. So this is important, this axis, this center axis is very important. You have to behave proper, not lean like that, like uh, today many wing tuner like that, you know, doing leaning back or leaning forward. No, you need to be straight. And then this thing has to be uh, balanced. So it's like the, a cross. Okay, so it's like cross here. So it is like uh, when people sit in the uh, lotus posture in meditation, you know, straight, proper, balanced. Your body posture has to be at that because at that point, your spine will be aligned properly. And once you can align properly, then your breathing will get to the lower abs when your mind quiet down. Your mind has to quiet down. If your mind cannot quiet down, your breathing will not go down even if your body is proper. And your mind, of course, is not going to be quiet down if your body is not proper or have any type of stress. Like leaning backward or the triangle clamping knee, you will never get that human body. Now, so if you have that, the breath are going down here, and then the longer you practice this, get to like the Buddha's teaching, you know your inhale, you know your exhale. Actually, the no term 
we should use the term aware to be accurate. So when you stand like this, you're aware of your inhale, you're aware of your exhale, and then you're aware of how long, how deep you inhale, how long you exhale, and keeping practice that, practice that, practice that. And then due to you aware of your inhale, exhale, how long the length of your inhale, exhale, it really the so-called breathing uh, sensation, it actually expanded in your body. And uh, that is, as the Buddha said, you aware of your breathing at all, all of your body. At that time, you keep practice, you know. You aware that at inhale, it going downward, it going down to the the, 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 the heel, not just like a straight line going down. No, you just you just aware that it's just expand. So the words, the term expand is uh, is a better term. It expand. Okay, so this like uh, your breathing expand, expand, expand. Now that's how to to, to develop that. So if you tell me. You have to solve, just solve. And then this philosophy, and then uh, you practice it, then uh, you will get there. And every Tai Chi teacher, they're based on the same philosophy, they'll get there. I'll say bullshit. You need the process. Like the other day, I shared that you need to have the Jian Di. Jian Di meaning proper, in-depth, comprehensive understanding of what the heck is going on. Okay? So until one get there, one couldn't even do it when one stand. So how is it one supposed to, 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 to get this inhale all the way and everything? When people tell me that, I say it's bullshit. Okay? Because I have given too much face to everybody and I'm really disappointed now. Especially when I see something which is promoted. Like, oh, you do this Qigong of the, uh, 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 Wing Chun and then uh, you will live up to uh, 100 years old or whatever. Now, let's get to this so-called 100 year old Qigong or something. The first thing is, the Chinese is really bad in past, uh, actually it have a very bad habit. When they create something, they always say that it is somebody up there who create. So you create something, you say, well, this is Wing Chun. Or sometimes they even say, oh, this is what my Sifu taught me, but really, they created it themselves. And, and uh, always is when they create something, they dump it to Wing Chun. So if it's not screwed up, it is, I have the transmissions. I am the guy who teach this. When something screw up, it is Wing Chun. They'll keep my, their mouth shut. It is really bad habit. It is really irresponsible okay now just now i have shared with you the process how to get the breathing to the entire body the shaolin in the ancient doing that the buddha's teaching doing that those who practice anapanasati properly be able to do that the buddhist the monk who try practice anapanasati properly can do that okay so this is a process as uh, I have shared that is in the book uh, 1,500 years ago by uh, Mang Zhiyu, okay, namely the six uh, wonderful Dharma duo practice. So it gives you the process and you get those and then uh, you will uh, be able to verify what you got and, and so forth. Now, Today, 
Just look at your EG Kam Yong Ma. It is all over the place. And as soon as I like it, I would say this is my way. My Wing Chun, Hendrix Wing Chun. It is really, really disturbing. Whatever one create or one thing, you will always add thing. Wing Chun, Hendrix Wing Chun. Can you say just this is Hendrix's idea instead of Hendrix Wing Chun? Sorry, you don't have Wing Chun. Wing Chun is defined 160 years ago. You like it or not? Because we have evidence in America today to show you what the heck it is. How that link to Qi Ji Guang, how that link to Shaolin, how that link to the Buddha's teaching. And it is scientific. Now, so we need to be very careful. And now we know that in the history of Wing Chun, like the other day I share, even 100 years ago, 100 years ago, Tang Hao have shared that the burning Shaolin and Tai Ching stories, all the Mui fighting, Pak uh, Mei, Pak Mei fighting, Ji Sim, and all this thing is <coughs> from a, a, a fiction. Okay, those are fiction story. And so you heard about today, oh, they are anti-Qing, they are uh, this uh, burning of Shaolin, um, Mui, create Wing Chun. All of those are based on that, those type of fiction. Now, when, when you are based on some fiction, how are you going to get any type of uh, insight or uh, in-depth comprehensive understanding on Wing Chun. You can because the end of whatever your Wing Chun is, is a fiction book. So you can sit down there and argue about Wing Chun is Wang Chun, Wang Chun is Wing Chun, Wing Chun is from Mui, Wing Chun is from uh, Chi Sim. You can go up to the end of the time and you cannot find anything. Why? Because it's based on a fiction. It's like based on Star Wars. So, so that is one part of uh, the Chinese Kung Fu. Another part is like the internal people, the Tai Chi say, oh, it's based on Zhan San Feng, the guy who uh, learned the martial arts in the dream. And the next day he wake up within one night. The next day he wake up, he can defeat hundreds of bandits. So you have this two, 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 uh, two fiction-based martial arts system. And they, they, they mix the, the, some history and, uh, some, and a lot of uh, uh, fiction. Then they make all this story. And then this is the martial arts. Well, Wing Chun is like that. If you like us around, that's why the people couldn't even make it clear that uh, Hong Siu Cheng is not in the 1840-1850 anti Qing. Hong Siu Cheng is living at the time of uh, 1870s, like the Tai Fa Ming Gam. It is not in the uh, in the uh, uh, 1850s. So, so that's why the, that's the history. That's the Wing Chun. And and like uh, like Tang Hao, I pointed out. These two things, and uh, if you follow this thing, guarantee you go nowhere. Guarantee when you face a vaccine boxer or judo, you are going to go down to the tube. Why? Because that third element of the Chinese martial art, which is based on General Qi Ji Guang of Ming Dynasty or General Yi Da Yu of Ming Dynasty and Shaolin Xianji, Mang Xianji, which is a real Mang. And then coming down, the Okinawan, the Japanese, the Korean is based on that. And while the Chinese is based on this 
this, uh, this, uh, this uh, fictions of a uh, Shaolin burning Shaolin. And uh, uh, often it is just an uh, anti Ching wannabe, not the real anti Ching. And then, or uh, the Taoist wannabe, oh, Zhan San Feng, and I, have, I don't have to do anything like uh, the Tai Chi guy told me. According to Zhuang Zhi, the book, it said that the sage will breathe to, you know, uh, down to his hill. But then how to do it? Nobody knows what the heck. It's up to everybody's interpretations. So you look at like uh, the, uh, the, 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 the Japanese, Okinawa, karate, and, and, and and, and the judo, jujitsu, they all have the component from China, which is the proper from like Jenna, Chi Chi Guang, and uh, Shaolin, real one. Well, you have these two Shaolin uh, fictions and the Taoist fiction stuff, which never is real. It just uh, have a fiction stir up with whatever whatever a bit and piece of uh, the Chinese history. Like Feng Xiucheng is anti-Qing too. Tai Fa Ming Gam uh, is the Sifu of Feng Xiucheng. And then Tai Fa Ming Gam is in the red boat, blah, 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 learning from uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the husband of Wing, Wing Wing Chun and so forth. Can you make your mind clear? Tai Fa Ming Gam is 1870. How is that? got to do with uh, the people who have uh, who fight the 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 the, the Qing, anti Qing, the real anti Qing, fight together with the Hong Sing Chai Lei fight to anti Qing. So if you cannot get this thing clear, what do you have? That's why I say it is a label, which is you can put on any of your bottle. You are selling snake oil. You are selling water. You are selling wine. You're just putting that and nobody uh, uh, do a quality control. And uh, so it's up for everybody. My Wing Chun, your Wing Chun, everybody have their Wing Chun. So if you really want to study Wing Chun or any Chinese martial, beware of this thing. The real martial will really be able to track in the real. Chinese history and the Buddhism or even Taoism practice. But not in this two class of thing where you have Zhan San Feng, soft, I can uh, defeat whatever by my Ji, my Qing. And then another thing is uh, in this uh, anti Qing, uh, Shaolin fight, Mui. It is really disappointed after 50, 60 years, uh, uh, 40, 50 years that I'm in this, in, in this uh, following this, okay? Now, so I'd like to share with you. Let's get down like uh, yesterday. This is the, the thing which is claimed that you can live up to 100 years old if you practice this kind of thing. And here it said clearly, connecting your eight special channel, your eight special channel of your body. Okay? You know, human body have 20 channels, 20 channels, 12 proper channel, eight special channels. Okay, so in the in the eighteen fifty shooting Tao Kuit, they found this in the eighteen fifty shooting Tao Kuit. If you have this book, you can check it out. You can write down the notes, okay? This is uh, in the Wing Chun Inception. Y1 to Y5, it cover the 20 channels. So, 
the Y2, when you say that you have to split the yin and yang, that you need to cover the 12 proper channel. Y5, when you say do meridian, that is covering the eight special channel. So the first five riding of 1850 Shulim Tao is cover the 20 channels. However, it gives you the processes of how to handle the 20 channel. This one, the first one is a quiet the mind, return to awareness, standing in the equal shoulder stance. Well, I have explained to you that just now, equal shoulder stance meaning like the meditation posture, your spine has to be straight, even the yogic. If you want to deal with your kundalini, you need to have your spine properly posed. Okay? That's what it is. Okay? And then your mind has to quiet down. If your mind do not quiet down, you will not be able to do that as I just explained to you on your breathing. Okay? So if you can do that at the end, you will be able to sing your breathing down to the low abs naturally and there where you start to be able to deal with your energy and uh, in this uh, dealing with this eight special channel. Now, This is making the claim say to link the eight channel. But guess what? Anybody have a real experience in the ancient uh, uh, technology of Wing Chun or martial arts or the, the, the Shaolin art will know that this cannot do it. Why? Because this clamping knee is actually making or disrupting your yin channel, which is, which is rise up from the ground to your chest via your leg. It actually creates blockage. The clamping of knee create blockage on this, the three leg yin meridians so as soon as you claim that this three yin meridian will not be able to fully get up there that is in terms of the energy the meridian when your yin meridian cannot handle how the hell are you going to handle the eight, uh, eight special meridians I just showed you just now the first five uh, riding, the first four got to do with your handle your eight, 12 uh, meridians, the 12 proper meridians. Then you handle the, the eight meridians because the 12 proper is the, the bread and butter. Now, the second thing is when you do that, your breathing will not get down to here. Your breathing is going to stuck into your chest. So you cannot reach the fifth statement of you cannot get to the state of union in the Tan Tian do meridian descent. You can never do that because you block your physiology. Now So Qigong, what Qigong? If you don't believe, you stand with this kind of thing, let's look into science. So this, the number one here is, right now is stand according to the 1850 Shu Lim Tao teaching. And then I'm going to switch into 
the so-called EG Kamyong Ma like this. By clamping this knee in. And let's get signs to tell you what it is. Look at the amplitude of the breathing. Low abs breathing. Internal abdominal pressure. Look at once I switch. Now you see the amplitude. Change right away. Your breathing couldn't even get to one half, but it will stay about one third of your, 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 your proper breathing. I see it again. So you tell me, how is this type, how is this type of thing can have any internal art, can help you to live up to 100 years old? Obviously, this is not the ancient Chinese teaching and this is not the human Physiology is not a court to that. Now, is it Wing Chun? If you create that using your own name, please do not using the Wing Chun name. Because, because that is actually the screwing the Chinese culture. So stop the telling me, oh, you know, I'm from Wing Chun. I love my ancestor. Bullshit. If you love the ancestor, you don't do those kind of stuff. If you create it, you create it. If you screw up, you say, I screw up. That is the way how, if you respect your ancestor, you don't put Feng Xiu Cheng into Wing Chun and then you say, Wing Chun is Wang Chun, all sort of stuff, which is in the history, it never exists. Does Feng Xiu Cheng know this kind of thing? I just explained to you. Feng Shuxing doesn't know. That's why it is so bad today. You never develop anything with this type of stuff. Okay? It's all make claim. Now, and then uh, in the part of the thing, you have this swallowing the, the sun, and then you bow down this way, like a sing to the Tan Tian, those kind of thing. You know what? Do not do this kind of stuff, okay? This type of stuff is extreme. It is not natural, it is extreme. 1850s Wing Chun do not teach you something which is extreme. Now, Scientifically, why you don't want to do this? Scientifically, let me explain to you why you don't want to do this. Because your human body have uh, this intra-abdominal pressure, the thoracic cavity pressure, and you have the eyes pressure, optic, optical in your eyes pressure. All those pressure subject to, we can cause, like in this abdominal, can cause hernia. In the thoracic cavity, we can cause the blood pressure to spike high or uh, your, 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 your heart to behave weirdly if you have a preconditions, your eyes to increase your eye pressure, those kind of stuff, if you have any precondition, okay? Now, in the 1850s design of Wing Chun, in the 1850s design of Wing Chun, 
it always tell you, it always tell you, following natural spontaneously, the chi will flow in a peaceful and balanced way. Okay? It always remind you. Or like it's here. Following the natural spontaneously, the breathing chi will be nurtured. You are not going to do the stun like that. You are not going to do the stun like this extreme stun like that. Okay? The Chinese know you don't want to mess around with this because it's going to damage your body. If you got a young guy, say in their 40 something, overweight, like us today, have a lot of computer, we do have a eyes, uh, eyes uh, pressure and so forth, you get them to do this kind of thing. And then you get them to do this kind of thing. What are you doing to them? Okay. You're screwing people left and right. And because you are ignorant on what is breathing, how to get there. It's like the, the Tai Chi people I told you uh, previously. Oh, yeah, philosophically, Zhuang Zi say this. Yeah, philosophy can say what the heck philosophy say. I care less what Lao Zi say, Zhuang Zi say. If you don't have the process, you cannot develop that thing. You cannot verify with science. That's called fantasy, okay? That's called selling snake oil. So I see this thing left and right. And, and now people start to preaching and selling this kind of health product. It's damaging, man. If Asia love to take that, that's fine. But in the West, Maybe, maybe I should uh, file a complaint to the FDA or anything to stop this nonsense. Qigong nonsense, okay? Now, this entire thing come with what? Come with one, have no clue on the physical element, mind element, breathing element, qi element, strength element, and momentum element, the six core elements. They don't know how to open up their body. They don't know how to quiet their mind. They don't know the breathing states. They don't know what is the energy, chi, surface. They have no idea on the six column and then they keep creating things. So it is the time to hold people for responsibility, okay? Now, this link to one thing. You can hear that people saying that uh, people often argue. Oh, uh, somebody will say, when you practice Wing Chun, you are not supposed to lift weight, lifting weight. Okay? And then this party will say, yes, I need to, uh, when you practice Wing Chun, you want to lift weight. And the other one say, no, I don't want to lift weight. And then the guy who lift weight and will show you that this is lifting weight and all sort of stuff. But you know, what is the Wing Chun teaching? The, 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 uh, the real Wing Chun and Shaolin teaching? What the real Shaolin teaching and Wing Chun teaching is that one need to develop this, the body be able to breathe naturally, deeply. Naturally, no, no, no stress, okay? And uh, one be able to handle this uh, abdominal pressure, meaning one have a good handling naturally on this intra-abdominal pressure and uh, not pushing all this intra-abdominal pressure and uh, thoracic cavity or the ice pressure to the extreme and don't know, one need to have a, a 
proper conditions. That is the basic before one can use weight as a training tools. You just look at the, the, the weight lifter. If it is not proper bracing, you know it could cause hernia and many things. It caused ice pressure to rise too. So the, 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 the ancient Chinese know about it, know that not everybody can practice with uh, the, the, the weight. And even if you want to practice with weight, you have to be careful. But it is not like Wing Chun must not use weight. Well, weight is good. Weight is actually help you to build your, your muscle. But then weight is bad if you have no idea on this and you, you, your practice, your Wing Chun is like uh, standing in this kind of stance, you couldn't even breathe. How are you going to practice using your weight? Is that weight is going to eat, to, to, to increase your intra-abdominal pressure, your thoracic pressure, ice pressure. Not to mention that when you do this, you practice something like that. In China, you know that this thing caused stroke. People who practice Tai Chi or this and that cause stroke because they bend too low. And the people who have a high blood pressure, when the body cheat too much, it causes problems with the high blood pressure people too, dizzy and all kinds of stuff. Well, the Chinese have do a lot of research. Even in nineteen in nineteen fifties, but many of those get sent into the. The, 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 the prison and die because they are using Western scientific stuff to do research and the communist people don't like it. So all, you have this grandmaster sending to prison to die there. What a mess. So I'm not saying that the Chinese is no good. I'm saying that like in every race, every country, there are good people and there are bad people. And today it is all commercialized and all this Wing Chun this, Wing Chun that, this Kung Fu, that Kung Fu. They do not have the responsibility like those grandmasters who died in the prison 1960s. Those who die in prison have heart. That's why they research with the, 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 the Western uh, instrument. So, should Wing Chun practice a wave lifting or not? Sure, if your body can, you handle that and you can gradually uh, uh, improve, expand your limitations of your body, you, you need it. Because the bottom line is you are going to play with your momentum. You like it or not, you are playing with momentum, but you need to have this developed. Or else you're going to cause yourself problems. So, there's one other thing coming up. If you want to breathe and want to have the proper alignment, like this is in my book, Wing Chun Matrix, I show the process using today's the walking stick to make sure that you'll be able to breathe properly, not stressing your body, your cavity, everything. So this is according to the ancient teaching and we just map it in today's science. Now, until one be able to get this, if you want to go according to the ancient, then one is not supposed to do a weightlifting or anything because one cannot breathe. When you cannot breathe, you go do weightlifting, then you end up to be uh, stop breathing. You cannot breathe, you cannot brace, you get all kinds of problems. Now, one of the serious stuff is your knee. Many Wing Chuners have problems with their knees. And then uh, many things, again, like this Tai Chi guy have their ideas. Oh, I have to do this. My knee is not hurting. Your knee is hurting. I can do this. Well, you know, again, it's everybody using themselves as, uh, as, as the, the truth of the universe. 
Oh, my wing should. I do this, my knee doesn't hurt. What is the universal truth for human? The universe truth is when you do the EG Kam Yong Ma properly, you don't do this because it costs you cannot breathe, it costs your yin energy blockage, and it costs your knee to stress because of your misalignment. So the way how to avoid all of those knees problem is you have to use this muscle behind your knees, not any pressure on your knee. The pressure has to be behind here. So it's like people who are doing squat properly. Like today, in the scientific way, you're doing squat properly, then you'll be able to squat without damaging your knee. And you'll be able to properly squat so that you'll be able to breathe properly. You know, in squat, you can do like the lifting later on, weight lifting and so forth to handle your bracing, intra-abdominal pressure and breathing and so forth, so forth. And you need a coach for those. Like today, everybody have the coach, you know, the really the guy who nearly know what they are doing. So one thing one need to understand is one need to check oneself. As soon as you have weight loading your knee, you know that is a wrong thing. You are human. You need to using this part. It is like those who practice proper squat in today's squat science or fitness. Well, ancient Chinese and today's uh, modern sport science American all are human. You need to follow these signs. You need to follow this human body. That's how it's supposed to be. So remember, check your EG Kam Yong Ma. As soon as there's any force or strength or loading in your knee, stop it. Okay? Because that, that is not supported by but by human body, and you can prove that with the uh, with, with sports science. So remember that your knee, you need to use proper pro uh, uh, the, uh, muscle. Lifting weight, you need to be able to breathe properly, and not get yourself into those uh those uh those stop breathing and uh, and all those intra abdominal pressure problem. You can read in the weightlifting and so forth and all those kind of stuff. Do not violate that. Only that way, you'll be able to, uh, to, to, to practice Wing Chun properly. So in the ancient, we know already, it, it tells you how step by step the process down from the... Uh, recovery of the body, conditions of the body, to the uh, training for fighting. And uh, like uh, in, the, in the writing of 1850s, even the, just the first five, it tell you how to handle your body. You need to practice, keep practice, keep practice. So I share so many things, like I'm whining. Actually, I'm really disappointed. And I am really frustrated too. Can people have the brain to think? This guy want to be grandmaster. That guy want to be my Wing Chun, but Wing Chun what? What do you really know anyway? It is just selling your snake oil. And just because of it is have no quality control, like uh, if you sell you if you sell uh, something a food in in America, you have the FDA ingredients. No, there's no control there. You can put junk inside there and sell toxic thing to other people. Ancient Chinese is not like that. 
Responsible Chinese is not like that. But it tends to be like this today. So how is supposed to be all young people, the, 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 the people who want to learn uh, uh, Wing Chun? You know, all beginner, they are like a, a, a piece of a plain white paper. They are good people. Why do we screw them left and right on things we have no idea? We just create something. And then we're preaching something. And they say, well, this is my Wing Chun. So is that your Wing Chun? Do you have Wing Chun? Do you know what is Wing Chun? So this is what I'd like to share with you today. If you really want to study Wing Chun, that's a proper way. Proper way is following the, uh, the, 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 uh, the signs, spot signs, and uh, the uh, proper Chinese history. First, you want to not damaging your body. Following signs, Western medicine is the best thing. Not screw your body because you know that it's going to screw your body. The second thing is you follow the ancient Chinese history records that show you that what is really works or not working. So ancient history records show you what works, what is the real reality. The, 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 the modern spot signs show you that not to damage your body, how to properly handle your body. Well, this is very different than snake oil. I have a grandmaster name. My Sifu is so and so. My Sifu is the grandmaster, the god of uh, the, the, the Wing Chun. Like this Tai Chi guy told me, oh, this is a Zhuangzi uh, 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 literature. Well, you can quote me Shakespeare, but if you don't understand what the heck is going on there, you will never be able to make it happen. You cannot avoid the problem it might cause. And if you couldn't even do this, I, I just I go through all this whining for one hour. You couldn't even stand properly. You don't even recognize your body. How the hell are you going to compete with those like the Texas Judo, where everything is scientific? and can stand the examinations of science, spot science. So this is what I'd like to share with you, okay? I am really frustrated, really. I never thought that people can do this kind of stuff. When I was young, I'm a Chinese descendant. I look up, up on all this grandmaster and everybody who have a grandmaster, I, I, I choose to trust them I choose to respect them. But today, after 40 something years old, I say, are you guys bullshitting? How is that Chinese at all? It is just heartbroken. It is just really disappointing. It's just frustrated. But those kind of bullshit must not carry to the West and screw all the young people. All these innocent people, why do you want to screw them?